Hey Leo, it's your girl, the Empress Chanel here, coming at you with your new moon reading. All right, make sure y'all check the description box for all the links so you can find your sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mercury, all that good stuff. And you can look at the other signs and see a full picture of what you got going on. Remember, these are general readings. Take what resonates, leave behind what doesn't. You're sharing this energy and this reading with others. If you want to hone in on only your energy and you're just getting bits and pieces from this, go to my website, linked in the description box, and book yourself a personal reading, all right? All my readings are pre-recorded. Um, I will send them to you in the email address that you provide, unless you choose to book the live reading, which I'll do that with you on Skype. Okay, so Leo, here we go. Dear loving angels, ancestors, spirits, guides, and totems, I ask that you clarify the messages from you through me. I ask that you cover me in the whitest light from the highest vibration as I deliver these messages to the collective sign of Leo. All right, what does Leo have going on during this uh, new moon? All right, four of cups, ignoring somebody. Oh, okay. The empress, some of you are ignoring your parents or a boss or you know some sort of someone who's trying to control this could be you trying to take back control over your life deciding to finally do that to bring back um, balance into your life i'm seeing two of pentacles energy here four of cups is cancer energy so this could happen uh in this coming up cancer season um the empress is taurus libra season uh you or someone in your energetic field may have that in their chart two of pentacles here is capricorn the star is Aquarius. The Ace of Cups is Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ace of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Okay. We got the Eight of Pentacles, the Sun. I didn't even need these for clarifiers. They're clarifying themselves. All right, now. Go ahead, Spirit. You're just flicking them out. I see you. I see you. <laughs> all right. We got the Eight of Pentacles. And I'm going to um, read all of these to you guys and explain them. Eight of Pentacles is um, Virgo energy. And then we got... Let me put the rest out here. And then we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. I'm going to tell you who all... Okay, I'm not taking these three because them three came out together. We just need two more. Okay, that's one. And get one more. Gratitude. Alrighty. And then we have here three of swords at the bottom of the deck, which is Libra energy. Okay. So I'm seeing you guys made boss moves. You made boss moves and... Um, here Leo a lot of you and um, you decide to step it up in your life you decided to take back control of your life you decided to bring your life back into balance you decided to uh, build uh, you know you know have growth in your life um, have build a foundation for things um, set a new foundation for things to uh, bring yourself in um, from the cold here with this ace of cups um finding new opportunities taking those new opportunities here with the ace of swords being clarified by judgment judgment is libra energy all right and then we have the eight of pentacles over here being clarified by the world so this may be some sort of new um like either a lot of you have been working on yourself on a new you that you have been working on or this could be a new um job that you have been manifesting here because we had the page of cups with the magician and the magician is about manifestation and the page of cups is about um emotions feelings or something that you um really put your heart and feelings into but what i'm really feeling here for some of you as well um because i'm getting uh, a couple of different uh energies here is that um a lot of you guys walked away from a uh, controlling manipulative emotionally manipulative energy this energy may have tried to disguise it as um a total happiness um they may even see you as total happiness they may have some sort of codependence or some sort of dependence going on but you guys have been ignoring them they have been because you know that they're disguising it as happiness and you're moving on to your real happiness and your real energy of what you want to be and what you're manifesting here um with the magician and the page of cups you know something that is more suited for your life all right um 
this page of cups might uh they, this person might try to send a message of uh romance um uh, some emotional or f message about like with their feelings or you, you know that type of thing but i'm feeling like you guys already with the magician here have the intuition you have the feeling you know that it's being masked with this sun happy-go-lucky type of energy okay you guys have had an awakening you, you you've had an awakening to the truth you know what the truth is all right you guys are the real magician you guys are the star here with this healed energy over here being clarified by the seven of pentacles like i said the seven of pentacles is planting your seeds um taking a step back reflecting okay Okay, um, taking back control over your life because seven, seven in tarot numerology is um, a card of reflection, assessment, and control, right? So you reflected, you assessed, you maintained the healthiness that was going on in your life, you got control over it, you sitting back, you're like, okay, I know when somebody's working me and when somebody's not, all right? Seven of Pentacles, minding the business that pays you. You've just been sitting back, chilling, healing yourself, bringing newness into your life, being the little star that you are, okay? <laughs> um, all right, Leo, no more heartbreak I'm seeing here at the bottom of the deck. And I say that because right up under that, I had a feeling Ten of Pentacles, that's coming soon. You're done with this Three of Swords energy. Ten of Pentacles is Virgo energy. This could happen during Virgo season, or you could have that in your chart as well. Five of Swords energy, done and over with, because we got the Ten of Swords right up under that. Five of Swords is Aquarius. You may find this out or about this person. You know, you may find out about some sort of betrayal, um, pettiness, that type of thing, word witchery um, that, that really hurt. You know, you may find out about it online or somebody may send you a message or something like that. Uh, or, you know, somebody may say something to you socially. But we know we are in Mercury retrograde Gemini and um, the Ten of Swords is Gemini season. So and tens in tarot numerology means the end of a cycle or completion. So you're done. You're over with it at this point. It's been one too many times that this person has done this to you again. You're ending this whole cycle of this whole word witchery five of swords energy that they keep coming at you with you're gone out of there okay had a powerful realization or there could have even been a moment a fight between the two of you you know a moment of um you finding out that this person didn't really love you that they just had you in a bunch of illusions and 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 very confused and was controlling you controlling your mind you were in a mental prison and you didn't even know that you were in a mental prison and all you had to do was free yourself from it look at this here five of wands energy in conflict it could have been mental conflict with yourself okay um but i'm nine of cups right here wishes fulfilled all right with this uh magician card right here so your wishes are going to be fulfilled all right you're going to get your your true happiness that you want coming up out of this all right but you just got to put in the work and you got to do it you got to continue to stay in this eight of cups em energy this empress energy where you're walking away you're taking back control over your life three of pinnacles and two of pinnacles no longer juggling to um, maintain control and balance and build those foundations that you want so you can move on into your happiness all right so that's what's going on for you guys during this new moon energy, Leo. And um, if nobody has told you today, I'm going to tell you I love you. Peace.